I hope all of you are fit and fine. Today, I'm back with another video and another chapter. Today, we are going to discuss on the chapter of maps of class 5 geography. Now, suppose you went for a vacation in a foreign land and you don't know the local language of that land. So, you are not able to converse with the people. And in the meanwhile, you have lost your way. So, you don't know how to reach your place, how to find out the way. So, what will happen? How you will find out your way? In that case, maps will help you to find out the exact location of any place. So, today we are going to know more about maps. So, let's get ready to know more about the maps. We all know that our earth is round or spherical in shape, but it appears to be flat. Why? Since it's much bigger than us. So, if we have to see the curving surface of the earth, we need to climb very high into the sky. That means we need to fly in the sky to see the curving surface of the earth. Then, how will we know about the features of the earth's surface? Isn't it a big question? As a solution, the geographers have developed different means of representing the earth on a smaller scale. So we can say to know about the features of the earth's surface and to make its study easier, we can see that geographers have developed different means of representing the earth on a smaller scale. And one such tool is a globe. So now let us know what is a globe. So what is a globe? A globe is a small model or miniature representation of the earth which gives us fairly accurate idea about the surface of the earth. So what is a globe? It is an exact replica of the earth which help us to know about the features of the surface of the earth. Now suppose if we want to study the surface of the earth as a whole then what is going to help us? We need a globe. So globe help us to study the surface of the earth as a whole. We can also see that close also shows the exact location of the continents and oceans. Globe also give us information about the exact shape and size of the continents and the oceans. And all these are the advantages of the globe. But there are many shortcomings too. Let us find out about the shortcomings of a globe. A globe is very difficult to carry around. Why? Because it is heavy and bulky. We will see that at a time only one part of a globe can be seen. So we can say that it is not possible to see all the parts of the earth's surface at a time. Globe cannot show detailed information of a place. Suppose if we need to get detailed information then we will have to make huge globes and that will be very difficult to make and also to read. So to avoid the problems with globe we use maps which is another important tool to study the surface of the earth. Now let us find out what is a map. A map is a two-dimensional that means a 2D representation. What is 2D representation? It means that a representation which has length or breadth but not depth. So a map is a 2D representation of the earth on a flat surface or a drawing of the earth's surface or a part on it. That means we can draw the earth's surface as a whole or we can also draw a part of it on a flat surface. Suppose if I only want to know about Asia then I can draw a map of Asia. So such a drawing on a sheet of paper is called a map. So what is a map? A map is a two-dimensional representation of an earth on a flat surface or a drawing of the earth's surface or a part of it on a flat surface such as a sheet of paper and that is called a map. Now we cannot flatten out the earth's surface completely. It is not possible to flatten out the spherical shape of the earth completely and show it accurately on a flat surface. So there are some errors or distortions in the map. Now what is a distortion? A distortion is the act of twisting or altering something out of its true natural or original state. That means it is a change or twist or exaggeration that makes something appears different from the way it really looks. There can be distortions in the shape. 
size or even location of the landforms so in the maps we can find that there are some errors or distortions in the shape size and even locations of the landforms larger the area more will be the errors or distortions like if we draw the map of a world the distortions will be more why because it covers a large area whereas if we draw a map of your neighborhood then it can be drawn accurately why because it covers a small area so a map will have errors in the shape and size of the places shown on the map why because it is not possible to flatten out the earth surface and show a complete accurate representation of the spherical earth now let us know that what does we call the making of maps the science of making maps is called cartography and the people who make maps are called cartographers and they are the people who try to minimize the errors in the maps now let us find out the advantages of map maps give us more detailed information than globe and also it helps to find accurate location of a place so with the help of a map we can find out an accurate location of any place maps can be easily folded and can be carried everywhere so we can say that it is a quite easier task to carry a map everywhere even if you want to get a detailed information of a small area it can be enlarged and shown on a map and we can get detailed information about the place now let us move ahead with the limitations of the map maps distort the shape and size of the landforms and the earth spherical shape cannot be shown accurately on a flat surface because it is not possible to flatten the spherical shape of the earth completely and to show it accurately on a flat surface so this were the limitations of map i hope all of you understood that what is a map what are its advantages its limitations and how are maps useful than a globe so in today's video we have discussed about the globes its advantages and its shortcomings we have also discussed about map its advantages its shortcomings and how are maps useful than a globe so i hope all of you understood all the topic that has been discussed in today's video still if you have any query or problem don't forget to write it in the comment box so that i can give you the solution of the query i think all of you have enjoyed the video don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel to watch more videos on different topics stay tuned i will be back soon with a new topic and a new video till then take care and stay safe thank you mm -hmm.